What's up guys, little fans, Gojira54 here, and today's video is actually going to be another review, and today's review is actually going to be of NECA's Godzilla 2014 24-inch figure. So yeah, guys, uh, actually, this is a pretty late review, because, uh, well, of course, Godzilla 2014 came out last year, but also, I'm pretty sure I got this figure for kind of an early birthday present last year, which was in August, so my birthday just kind of passed a while ago. But, uh, yeah, guys, so this figure is really cool, though. I really like this figure. Uh, of course, it is actually pretty big. Uh, it's a, as you guys can tell, it's not your standard, uh, six inch. But, uh, yeah, basically, this is, uh, just gonna be a normal review. Uh, so, yeah, let's just take a look at the box, though. Alright, so I really like the box on this one, but I really have to zoom it out, too, because it's so big. But, uh, so, yeah, the box on this, though. It says, Features, Authentic Roar Sound, Godzilla. Of course, it has a picture of Godzilla right there. And it says Godzilla. And, of course, you bring it right here. What does it say? Oh, it says Godzilla with an awesome picture of Godzilla right there. Turn it over on the side. Also says Godzilla. And turn it to the other side. Guess what? It says Godzilla again, except it's a continuation of that one. On the back, basically, we've seen this a million times. You guys can pause it right here and read it. Basically... Stands over 12 inches tall. Oh, yeah, that's right. They call it 12 inches, not 24. Sorry. Uh, well, actually, no, right there. Yeah, 24 inches in length. That's what they refer to because it just makes it sound bigger and cooler. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much for the box. So, let's move on to the actual figure. All right, guys. So, now before I move on with the actual review, though, I just want to say something about this figure. Uh, this is a very heavy figure. <laughs> uh, this is, like, a really weighted figure. I thought I would just point that out. But, uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and start with our uh, basic sculpt. And, uh, yeah, so now sculpt and detail for this guy is actually really, really good. This is probably NECA's best Godzilla figure they've ever done. Uh, right up there with the 1954 that they just released. But, really, this sculpt looks exactly like the 2014. I mean, it's more accurate, I would say, than even the SH Monster Arts. But SH Monster Arts... I consider probably a better figure. I'm not sure. It's still a toss in the air, but this is definitely an awesome figure. So, yeah, but here you can see, like, all the frills on his neck and stuff like that. All the fine detailing. Let me zoom him in a bit. Yeah, if you just take a look at that, it looks really, really awesome. Everything about it in the face. Now, the face and the eyes, eh, they're all right, you know. But, uh, so, yeah, all of it is really, really awesome. And you go down to the chest area. The chest really also looks nice. It has an alligator kind of crocodilian look to it. Then the arms with the scales and stuff. And also down on, on the side here. I love these little things. It reminds me of like 2002, 2003 Godzilla from the Millennium series. Then you have the spines. Now the spines aren't that detailed at all really. They're rubbery and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, they just look really, really cool still. And you move it down to the waist. Now the waist, there's kind of an awkward line here. But you move down here, you get the, as I used to call it, dino dong. <laughs> and then you move down to the feet. Now the feet also look cool. You can see they're a little chubby, a little chubbier, but still not that bad. And then finally you have the huge, massive tail. Just great detailing all around on this guy. So yeah. Alright, so now for a paint job on this guy. Basically, you guys can just take a look. He's kind of your basic Godzilla 2014. And it's kind of a charcoal color. Except he does have really nice highlights of blue. I actually really like that. The camera's probably not picking it up that good. A lot of reviews say that, and, you know, it doesn't pick up that good either. But, uh, yeah, you can definitely see it on the leg here. Yeah, it, it's not really picking up that good. But he does have some good blue. He has a pink tongue and mouth, and he has a yellow eyeball and stuff like that. Black nails and stuff, which is all pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, overall the paint job on this guy is pretty simple. So, yeah. Now on to articulation. Now you can move his neck, move his head, move his jaw, move his arm right here. Also, you can move his arm right here, kind of sway back and forth. The hands and the waist can move, not that much, I mean kind of. Then the leg here, here, then the foot, yeah. And then finally you have the huge massive tail, which reminds me a lot of SH Monsters. Hey, let me get a little closer and demonstrate. Oh yeah. That's what I like to see. Really, really cool. Now also though, the neat gimmicky thing on this guy is that he roars. And this thing right here, the spine. Yeah. It does sound really good. I'll, now, I'll actually compare him to another roaring Godzilla. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can definitely tell this guy sounds a lot more clear. So, yeah. Alright, now for scaling, and I did have to take the tail off because he's too big to prop up against the wall. If I try, it would take off the tail. But, yeah, for scaling now. Here he is lined up with Godzilla 1993 and 1954. And actually, no, that's 1994, sorry. And here he is with the other Roaring Godzilla, so yeah. And here he is compared to Jax Pacific. Yeah, Jax is still the king. <laughs> but yeah, guys, overall, I think that this Godzilla 2014 is probably one of the best interpretations or representations of Godzilla 2014 you can get. Right next to the SH Monster Arts and, of course, below the X Plus. <laughs> and I am hoping to get that actually next year at G-Fest, so yeah. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching, though. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Give a big thumbs up if you this video. Also, though, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys have this figure? If so, do you like it? Tell me down below. But thank you guys so much for watching again, and Gojira5400, as always, out.